Hello everybody, this is Sheila Aliens, and today is September 6, 2011. Looks like we had a Labor Day sun flare directed towards Earth. A moderate Labor Day solar flare eruption. At 9.35 p.m. Eastern Time on September 5, 2011, the sun emitted an Earth-directed moderate 5.3 class flare as measured by the GOES satellite. The flare erupted from a region of the sun that appears close to dead center from Earth's perspective, an active region designated number 1283. The flare caused a slight increase of solar energetic protons some 26,000 miles above Earth's surface. A coronal mass ejection, another solar phenomenon that can send solar particles into space, was associated with this flare. The CME is a relatively slow one, traveling at under 200 miles per second. Further updates on this event will be provided as they become available. Now we go to spaceweather.com. An Earth-directed flare this morning at 0150 Universal Time, Sunspot 1283 produced a moderate 5.3 class solar flare. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the flash of extreme ultraviolet radiation. Because of the Sunspot's central location on the solar disk, the eruption was Earth-directed. But is a coronal mass ejection heading our way? Around the time of the explosion, a number of plasma clouds were already billowing away from the Sun adding an element of confusion to the analysis. Tentatively, we expect Earth's magnetic field to receive a glancing blow from a CME on September 8th or 9th. Stay tuned for updates. And what that entails is the possibility of earthquakes, because it does disrupt our magnetic field, which does cause earthquakes. That's what it does, so we'll see. It could also cause bad weather and other crazy things to happen, so. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, interesting is that this is the season for the Northern Lights. Spaceweather.com has a gallery of images that people have taken of the Northern Lights so far in September. And it's goddamn beautiful. Really beautiful. Also, NASA has just released new lunar orbiter pictures of the landing sites from Apollo 12, 14, and 17. So you can definitely check into that. And that is your WTF news update for today. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Much love.